Uh, hi, uh, this, uh, this chamber is uh, Meander. Uh, it's one of my first multiple state chambers. Um, God, it really needs a redesign. Uh, it has one flaw that was exposed uh, by a tester, but unfortunately when that got exposed, the entire test uh, had been um, on another machine of mine that's now gone, so I can't really redesign this chamber, nor do I really care. It's a it's sort of out of the way one, but technically there's a way when this is pulling you or pushing you this way that you can kind of leap over here and land on that and go out. So yeah, that's not the intended solution. Uh, if you want to solve it that way, it's incorrect. Um, anyways, um, it's a multiple state chamber, so this is activating a panel over here, or in this case, it's deactivating a panel. So this panel is dark. It would be a, a, a light panel. It's a flip panel. Uh, so this is doing that. Of course, that only matters later. Uh, this complex setup here with the fizzler and the grating all had to do with the fact that the cube can be pulled through the gratings, and I didn't like that. Uh, I could redesign that and make that better. Uh, but anyways, there's a few things here that are a little odd. This bypass here is for if you get trapped, uh, you can get out of this area. Um, typically, if you walk down this area, um, drop down over here, you can't get back up over there. So there's also a fizzler there to keep it from happening. And then this, I believe, um, will, when you are able to get this state activated over here, uh, you can't. So that's why this stair to do that so you can't jump through and find an easy way back there is no easy way back uh, so anyways um, again chamber uh, I I really struggled with this one to make it work the way I wanted it to it badly needs a redesign and I know it um, and uh, at some point I will do it well anyways let's just get on with the puzzle so I don't need this cube at the moment uh, but I don't need it on this button either so we'll just set it over here for the time being what I'm going to do is just get myself over here to this uh, this uh, thing here. So there's some hidden things here that I didn't intend to be the fact. And you can see them right there. So you can see here, when I get into here, uh, what I really need to be is up here. So you can't see that from here. Uh, I'll make that more visible later. I think I'm going to push this back, put a glass ceiling there, and then you'll be able to see it. But you can only access it from over here. Anyways, uh, neither here nor there. I'm gonna do this. Uh, sorry, uh, and then we're just going to float our way over here. So what we're wanting to do is pull ourselves to the exit. Um, as I said, redesign later. You see a lot of panels here. They don't mean anything yet. What we really want is we need to get the cube to this space over here, so we can laze this. We can't laze that from over there because there's just too much stuff in the way. So. Uh, just, uh, just have to get back over here and get this cube. Bring the cube back over. Uh, line it up with this. And then we're just going to hit this, uh, uh, here. Uh, okay, well, that's not quite lined up like I thought. Alright, so... Uh, that is going to deactivate that fizzler over there. Um, we don't really care anymore, uh, so we're just going to say, shoot that. And once we shoot that, we need this cube anymore. I mean, at some later point we're going to need this cube, but we don't need it right now. So we're just going to toss that away and come in here. And because we destroyed that cube, it goes back onto this button from the dropper. Pretty easy little maneuver here. Uh, uh, well, with a little bit more accuracy, we're just going to uh, hit the ceiling. Uh, we're just going to uh, do that. Now we can get our way out here. Uh, we'll want this portal to be right here so that we can get back to that area. So we'll come down here. There's nothing else for us to do except to get back over to this area. So that. So you can see there's dates of this. 
Um, you stand on that button, it reverses this funnel. Uh, at the moment though, uh, what we're looking for is to get this, uh, this cube over to that side. Uh, and the way to do that is um, we need to kind of manipulate the back of that again. Well, we don't need this anymore. What we need is the laser again. So now we have the laser shooting here. Take the cube off the button. We can still hit this from over here. Pretty simple. Uh, and now uh, we have access back here again. Well, now that we have access back here, we don't really need that any... Uh, we don't really... Uh, uh, what was I thinking here? Uh, I had something I was thinking and now I've lost track of my uh, thought process. Okay, so we, we laze that there. Um, and now all we need to do is get over there. So we're just going to go over there. Um, so now we know that we can laze it. We're just going to relaze it again. Uh, oh. Now that cube's not lined up anymore, huh? Weird. Uh, that's going to get rid of this. This uh, orange panel is in the right place. That's where we want it. It doesn't have to be lined up anymore. It just has to be able to be pulled back over here. So, shoot that there. And now we're pulling the cube over. So at this point, um, we really just want to uh, get ourselves back over here, but we don't want to lose this behind the area here, uh, this, uh, this portal. We need that portal. So um, I can't put this on here because as soon as I put it on here, there won't be a way to get back here as I showed you those stairs will sink and then I can't get back from this area over here and I can't in any way get myself over there with the funnel going in reverse. So I have to leave it going the way it is and pushing myself over here. Of course once I'm over here uh, I'm going to reposition this portal to here and then I'm gonna push it so that it'll push that cube just slightly uh, and um, uh, that's really all I need to do. Oh, but didn't quite do it. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, I almost screwed that up, but um, anyway. So uh, once you've done that, um, again, I could probably make that a lot easier. Um, as I said, uh, early map, uh, I have the reverse funnel, which I want at this point in time, because that's going to now get me to the exit. It's going to be a convoluted way to get there. I don't know why I made it convoluted, but I did. Uh, so there, there's that. Um, so uh, I'm just going to put that there. Uh, I'm going to put this here. And essentially what I'm going to do is uh, let it pull me in. And then uh, I'm going to put a blue one there. And that's going to pull me over to here. Now these are recoverable because you'll go back into that. But... Oh, uh, well, I did not mean to do that. I was talking about recoverable. So you, you can see it's recoverable to come back here. And then you can still shoot over to here. So this is what's next. Of course, I need to be up here. Well, as luck would have it, all of this is going to work out in that. So our benefit for that is we're just going to do this. Uh, we're going to go this way. We're going to get ourselves up here. We're going to go over this way. And of course now we're above the area we want to be and uh, we can just shoot that and get ourselves to the exit. Uh, and that is Neander. Um, a little convoluted, a little, could be a little bit better in the multi-state, could have a lot of this cleaned up. Um, again, I learned a lot of lessons from making this chamber. Uh, and in hindsight would love to make this as a more advanced chamber and I probably will so uh, that's it uh, thanks for playing uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, see you next time I guess